Welcome back, my friends, to The Chosen Devotional, The Harmony of the Gospels, day number four, part one, The Temptation of Jesus in the Wilderness. Day number four, The Wilderness Temptation of Jesus. Then Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, was led immediately by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He was with the wild animals. After he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Yeah, I'd be hungry after a day. Wow, 40 days, that's a long time. Then the devil approached him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man must not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city Jerusalem and had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, for it is written, He will give his angels orders concerning you to protect you, and they will support you with their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus told him, It is also written, Do not test the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor in a moment of time. And he said to them, I will give you their splendor and all this authority because it has been given over to me and I can give it to anyone I want. I will give you all these things if you fall down and worship me. And then Jesus told him, Go away, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. After the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from him for a time, and the angels came and began to serve him. Who is John the Baptist? This is John's testimony when the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him and asked, Who are you? He didn't deny it but confessed, I am not the Messiah. What then, they asked him, are you Elijah? I am not, he said. Are you a prophet? No, he answered. Who are you then, they asked. We need to give an answer to those who sent us. What can you tell us about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. Just as Isaiah the prophet said, now, they had been sent from the Pharisees, so they asked him, Why then don't you baptize if you weren't the Messiah or Elijah or the prophet? I baptize with water, John answered them. Someone stands among you, but you don't know him. He is the one coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. All this happened in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. Lots of great stuff in here. I like the fact that Jesus was tempted because then when we're tempted, we know that Jesus was also tempted. But what did he say every time? He didn't say, oh, I'm great or oh, I have a way out or I'm smarter than you or whatever. It was never about him. Every single time he said, it is is written. He went back to the Word of God. So he knew the Word of God. And that's really important to me because I need to know the Word of God. That's why it's so important to be reading these devotionals, to be reading your Bible, to be in church, to be around other stronger Christians, and also to be memorizing Scripture. That's one thing I like to do a lot is memorize Scripture. Then when I'm in a tough spot, I can just be like, okay, God, what does your Word say? And I can just pull those Scriptures out. So even if you can't memorize them, you can have them on your phone. So whenever you're in a tough spot, remember, my friends, do what Jesus did. What did he do? He, as the Son of God, went back to Scripture and said, it is written. And so you and I, we should do the same. And then John the Baptist, what a great character he was. And, you know, he was getting a following, right? I mean, if he had an Instagram page, he'd be posting, hey, we're baptizing here at this river at this time or whatever. He was really getting quite a following back then. But he also knew his place. He knew that he was just the forerunner. He knew he wasn't the Messiah. He was just doing what he was told to be doing by God up until the time that Jesus came and took over. And he was faithful. We're going to read later on, even after that even to the point of death. So I just hope that we can kind of be like John the Baptist. We can just be pointing people to Jesus, knowing that we aren't the star of the show. We are not the main one. We are just preparing the way for Jesus. He is the important person in this story. And I just really appreciate how John was just humble enough to know his place. But yet he didn't just sit around because he's like, well, if I'm not the son of God, I might as well do nothing. No, he was out there all the time in the wilderness, eating bugs, bringing people to Jesus. So I hope I can just be like John the Baptist too and just keep bringing people to Jesus. I hope you enjoyed today learning more about Jesus's temptations and also John the Baptist and his job and our job too. I hope you come back again tomorrow for more because remember God's word in your heart is the best way to live. See you tomorrow. You can get your own copy of A Blended Harmony of the Gospels by The Chosen simply by going to thechosengifts.com. There you can find all kinds of wonderful merchandise to help build your faith this year. 
Be sure to check out their devotionals and their Bible studies. Have a blessed day.